Well, you know, folks, when I look at this image, I see two. I see two. I see two warriors. I see two men that put everything on the line. Everything. And man, and now these two men are going to reap the rewards of all their labor. Stay tuned. Can anybody explain this? Why do these guys keep watching these videos? They know they don't like this channel. They too stupid not to watch the videos. Explain. 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 Coach Shelton Harris is putting all you to shame. Haters in my comment section can't stand my name. Say you hate my videos but you're watching still the same. Nothing else to do because your life is just lame. You a troll like that, a simp like that, a wimp like that, so fat like that that you a blimp like that. I don't give a piss. How you gonna explain this? Forget what you think, cause this is my channel. Forget about your feelings, cause the truth is hard to handle. Pot, corn, pot, corn, pot, tart, fart. Leave a racist comment and you will get blocked. Coach Shelton Harrison, there never be no comparison. You live on the show, sit back and have a listen. And that's just the way that is. Can anybody explain this? All right, all right. LDBC, it is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Guys, I'm making this video, you know, for a reason, man. And I think most of you probably maybe know why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I don't think a lot of people realize what we just saw. I, I don't think a lot of people realize what we just saw. Uh, uh, you know, people are too they're too far into their own brains about this color that color i think people are bickering way too much about what these two guys look like instead of what these guys did and there are a lot of you you're trying to cover up what you really think okay like honestly come on let's just be real this was a boxing match okay this was probably fight of the year okay this is probably fight of the year for 2018 and all people doing is bickering man about damn race you know what this is a fight that I told myself that, you know what, nothing's going to interject because Tyson Fury has already given his stances on how he feel about racism. Deontay Wilder, pretty much, man, don't like it. So both of these guys, they got the same goal. They want to know who the best is, okay? We saw a magnificent fight between two great champions, okay? I don't care what, what your thought was. I don't care if you thought Fury won. I don't care if you thought Deontay Wilder won. We saw a hell of a fight. And guys, the fight's almost been two weeks. Of, you know, we, we've almost been 10 days out of that fight. And I tell you guys what. What are we all ta talking about right now? We're talking about the part two. We're talking about the rematch. A lot of us, we want a rematch, y'all. A rematch is what we need. We need to be talking this fight up, man. This fight need to be talked up. We need to, I mean, I, I, I'm not using my platform as, as, as a race war, man. I'm not going to do it, okay? I refuse to use my platform to fuel some kind of race war between anybody, okay? I'm not. I'm going to use my platform for this fight to really big up this fight because this is the fight now. You know, we're not arguing about Joshua Wilder anymore, guys. We stopped. This is the fight we want to see as fight fans. Damn, we happy. You saw a good fight. I don't know why you people got to insist on coming to comment threads and starting the whole rhetoric. And I, and I thought for a minute, I almost started, you know what, I'm going to cut my comment section off. I thought about doing that, man, for the, for, the, for the duration of any and every video that I make. Like I started thinking that. I'm going to cut the comment section off. Because if I cut the comment section off, it'll just cut out all this other nonsense. And we can do everything, okay? And we can do nothing else but focus on the fight. Tyson Fury got in that, that ring, man. He fought his ass off. He fought his heart out. This man got up, man, from a brutal, brutal knockout and knockdown. Deontay Wilder was frustrated, man. He was frustrated, but he didn't let that get in the way. He found a way to bring this fight back up to his favor. He found a way to get this fight back on, on a level. He found a way to even a playing field. He found a way to land his right hand. Do y'all not see... That this fight could possibly be a trilogy, man. We're looking at probably one of the great heavyweight trilogies right now in front of our face. But everybody want to sit here and bicker about this color, that color. You know what? I think everybody got, uh, you know, everybody got a problem of actually respecting people's opinion. 
I'm like, damn. Can you people just respect somebody's opinion, what they think, and stop calling them a name? I'm so sick of the names, man. I'm so tired of it. Like what? I mean, y'all can't just say I disagree. You can't just say I disagree. You can't say it. No, no, because you know what I see? I see a lot of insecure people. I see a lot of insecure people, man. It's like you can't disagree. And then it always escalates into some kind of racial slur if the conversation go on long enough. That's where we at, guys. That's where we're at right now. And you know what? It's disgusting. It's, dis it's disgusting that Deontay Wilder, man, he's an American heavyweight champion. This guy can't get no respect, man. You guys are respecting the, the foreigner, Tyson Fury, more than you're respecting the American heavyweight champion. Because, I mean, you guys can't stop looking at what he is. And it's a shame that we got a brilliant fighter in Fury, and the only thing people can talk about is the guy having coke issues. Me, I'm guilty too. I'm guilty of it. So when I say us, I'm talking about me too. I am guilty. I'm guilty of saying, you know what, Tyson Fury got the cocaine talking to him. I'm guilty of that. I'll come on here and admit that. Guys, I think enough is enough, y'all. And, and, and it's just, we got people that you're still going to come here. You're still going to, you know, come up with your rhetoric. I don't care about your opinion. I don't care about it. Look, it's your opinion. It's yours. It's your opinion. But damn it, you need to start respecting the, the opinions of other people. If they don't agree with you, they don't agree with you. Don't get in here and try to get people to see it your way when they don't agree with your ass. And I think this is the problem we have with fight fans. It's the problem we got. Amazing. Amazing how these two guys can get in there. And I'm talking about fight until these guys were just, you know, they these guys went in, they put it all on the line, and we're talking about the wrong thing. Boxing fans are never going to be united because we keep looking at what color these people are. We, we, we're never going to be united to get the fights that we want to fight, that we want to see. We're never going to be united. And that's just how it is. That's how it is. I mean, huh, got to get away from the BS, man. But I'm not going to use my platform as a race war. I refuse. I will talk about this fight and I'll big it up. But my platform, we ain't going to use it as a race war when it comes to these two guys. These two guys, they got in there and they fought their heart out, man. Guys, these guys deserve your utmost respect. Don't give, don't just give Tyson Fury your respect and say, oh, well, you know what, Deontay Wilder's a bum. No, man, come on. Come on. Deontay Wilder dropped the linear heavyweight champion. He dropped him twice, man, in the same fight. I mean, you mean to tell me that that don't, I mean, that, that don't say anything? That this man is a good fighter? No matter what you think of his technique? I mean, come on, y'all. And when we talk about Fury, Fury avoided the right hand for nine rounds. He took Deontay Wilder into deep waters. And he hit Deontay with some punches. And Deontay had to be, look, man, he had to have a, a strong mental fortitude. Because guys like, you know, it, Deontay Wilder could have easily got frustrated and just gave up. He could have easily got frustrated and gave up. But he did. He did. He stayed the course. Do, do y'all see that this is the story for a huge trilogy instead of some of the stupid ass stuff that you guys are doing and saying, man? I mean, and you know what? And, it, and it's sickening, man. Every time, man. No, nah, I think everybody in, the, in, in LDBC... We've had our criticism of both fighters, man. God, dog, let people have their opinion, man. Let people have their opinion. You're not finna call me a tribalist. You're not finna call me a... No, I got an opinion. I thought the damn fight was a draw. Wait a minute. Did you guys think that your opinion is better than my opinion? And I'm not thinking with my own mind. I'm not thinking anything with my own mind because I don't agree with you. See, that's what I'm talking about. Guys, we saw a magnificent heavyweight fight. We saw it, and now we want the rematch, and we're going to get the rematch. And damn, we might even get a trilogy. I'm done. 